Hey, hey, hey everyone, Fraser Brooks here, coming to you live from Germany in Europe. Uh, yeah, so I know that I've heard this, there's been some rocky news back in the UK, so I hope it's not going to affect me over here in Germany, but I hope you're all doing absolutely incredible. We are on episode 97 of Fraser's live show. Super, super, super pumped. If you're watching replay, then do me a favor and comment replay down below. I always like to go in and check who's on the replay after uh, because I appreciate not every single one of you can be on the live, although watching live is so much better. Now, remember uh, remember episode 100. There's a game of spot the difference now. That did say don't miss episode 100. Now it says remember episode 100, Tuesday the 5th of February at 9 p.m. UK time. Something huge which has just been finalized, just being finalized, is going to be happening. It's going to, it's going to impact the entire network marketing profession, which I'm excited about. And it's going to help me on my mission, which I know a lot of you guys are 100% behind and helping me do each and every single day as well. So, so good to see. We've got 100 and, oh, wow. No, we haven't. We've got 200 and something on. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 243 people within a minute. That's got to be some sort of record. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. All right, cool. So today... Tonight, this morning, wherever, whenever you're watching this, wherever you're, what, whatever time zone you're in. And by the way, guys, let me know what time is it where you, what, what time is it right now where you are? Obviously, right now for me, it's 10:01 p.m. because I'm in Germany. Let me know. It's always good for me to go into the comments and see, you know, if we've got any Aussies awake, if we've got any of the Americans who are halfway through their day. Have we got anyone who's in Scandinavia who's basically in bed? Let's have a look. If we've got any Russians in here, it must be like one o'clock in the morning over there. But anyway, here we go. Right tonight, I'm going to do something that I've not done before, and if it's if you guys like it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to kind of continue to do it as a kind of theme on my lives. And so here we go. We're going to play True or Dare, right? If you've never played the game True or Dare, then I don't really know what you did as a child or as a kid or as, an, as a teenager or even as an adult. I can hear all those ping, 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 uh, which is good, right? But throughout this live, you can comment truth or dare and then Right, I've, I'm looking at my notes and I've got a point where it says stop in my notes. It actually says truth or dare. When I hit that moment, I'm then going to go stop. I'm going to screenshot my phone and whatever truth or dare is nearest to the top of the screen, I'm going to either tell a truth about me or I'm going to give you a dare. Now, I'm calling action steps dare. So if it's a dare, I'm going to give you an action step for you to go and do and implement tonight and tomorrow morning. If it's truth, I'll just tell you something truthful about me so uh, that's completely up to you what you want to do truth or dare if you're in you can let me know uh, if you're not in you can just continue to watch you don't have to comment but it's always good to participate all right cool so tonight's live talking about the three things to focus on to improve all areas of your life so growing up as a kid i was to be honest with you i was a bit of a loser um, I had no passion, no mission, no purpose, no nothing, no future. No, I didn't have anything really going for me. I, I didn't, I didn't really wake up in the morning and think today I'm gonna rock it. Today I, it was just like, oh, here's another day. Like I wonder what's gonna happen today. I was always like this. I never smiled because I had a gummy smile, and everyone used to be like, ha ha, gummy smile, Fraser. Blah 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 blah. Um, and let me know, guys, if you feel like you were that way growing up. Um, people in, from Greece are here. Scotland's in that, from Greece to Scotland. Brilliant. Um, I'm sure the weather is completely different in both, both areas. But for me, it was, for me, it, it was just not, it was not fun. I wasn't excited. And I, I remember kind of, probably when I was about 15, 16, I remember being at a meeting that I, I think my, my parents took me to. And someone talked about a few different areas of your life. They talked about health, wealth, happiness, relationships, business, travel, lifestyle, freedom, all of these different things. And it started to make me think, you know what? I need to do more of what these people, these people who look like they're having fun in their life, these people who are excited about their life, the people who've got passion in their life, the people who've got purpose in their life, the people who are giving value to other people, I need to do more of what they're doing. And I started to do bits and bobs and bits and bobs. I started to do little bits of things. And, 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 and what I found was there's three things Three things that really kind of changed my life, not just from a business point of view, but an overall life point of view, the relationships point of view, just me being a positive person. And there's not many people that you'll meet these days who are more positive than me. Um, I actually made a post uh, probably about 
I think it was a week or two ago, and it's gone. It's all over my newsfeed, and so many people have ripped it off, which is totally fine. Uh, I don't do it. I don't, you know, I don't do this for fame. Uh, I do it to be able, able to impact. And if people are copying my stuff, then that means they've it's impacted them, right? And it was be so positive that people delete you on Facebook. And I completely agree with that. If someone doesn't like me because I'm too positive, then it's because they're too negative. Like simple as that. Uh, I can kind of move on from that, I suppose. Uh, again, if you, throughout this live, you feel like you want to chime in with your opinion or your comments, or you feel like you should share it with someone else who you think it's going to give value to them, whether it's a downline, upline, crossline, friend, whatever, whether in network marketing or not in network marketing, feel free to hit that share button uh, and then let me know in the comments. And if you stay on till the end, I'll be giving some people some shout outs as well, just for, for laughs. Uh, I'm not going to play the butchering the name game uh, at the moment. And if you're just jump, jumping on, remember episode 100, Tuesday the 5th of February. I am going to be starting hammering the promotion of this because it's so important to me and it's so important for everyone who tunes into these Tuesday lives as well. It's going to absolutely change the game. So here we go. Thing number one. The thing, the one out of the first out of the three things was you need to focus on the relationships that you build, right? And, I, and it just really hit me. Some guy, and I don't know the name of the guy, he's not like a famous person or anything, but he drew this on his whiteboard. He drew it, kind of, he kind of gave a different analogy that I'm going to give, but imagine that there was a, there's a road, and everyone lives, and this is life, right? This is just the road of life. And everyone's on the road, and everyone starts, and everyone's given the same wagon, Right? The same wagon and, and the wagon is, is the same size and it can hold, you know, it can hold five people, right? And you, you start and, you, and you're on the wagon and you go through life and you've got different family members. Hey, you can't choose your family, but you can choose your friends. But a lot of our friends now, nowadays, these days, because of school and, you know, with friendships and social media and stuff, a lot of our friends kind of are family friends now. So you, you are responsible for taking the wagon through life, okay? Now, this is the problem. The majority of people's relationships and the majority of people in life, they have people who are on the wagon. They've got five people on the wagon, right? Five people on the wagon. And some of the people on the wagon are going, keep going, Fraser, whip, whip. Some of them are like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna have a sleep and let me know when we get there. And some people are like, you know, they're carrying all this extra weight and they're like, ha, 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 ha. it's going to take you ages to pull me along. You're never going to get to your goal because I'm going to make it impossible for you. And sometimes, in fact, they jump off and they try and pull the wagon against you. That's what happens with the majority of people. That's what happens with the majority of people because you're not in control of your wagon, you're not in control of your inner circle. You could think of it this way as well. Uh, you could think of it like we need to go uphill and everyone's in one of those, I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but there's a big like bubble, right? A big bubble and inside it, you can have you and five people, right? And some people are in the ball just like, oh, you know, come on. Some people are in the ball like, come on, let's do this. Some people are like, get off, stop moving. And your goal is to take the ball up here. Now, who would you want in the ball? Who do you want on the wagon? You want people who are going to motivate each other. You're, you're going to have people who are going to want to pull the rope and, and scurry and scurry and scurry to grow up and take your business and to your life to the next level, right? So what we have to do with our, with our relationships is we have to improve the level of the relationships that we build, whether they're our inner circle, the five, you know, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, right? And top tip on that, a lot of people who aren't in network marketing, they, they don't like network marketing because of that saying, because a lot of people, a very high percentage of people in network marketing say you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And you know what? You are. But what happens is, is when you and you've got your five mates and you always go to the pub and you say, hey, lads, just started in one of those network marketing things. They're like, oh, you've not got brainwashed, have you? You've not gone into one of those cults, have you? You're not doing one of those pyramid things, are you? Right? And you start thinking, oh, maybe it is, maybe it is. In reality, there's an element of that. There's an, I'm going to tell, give you a quote that I've, I kind of said a long, long time ago that it's stuck with a lot of people. And that is that people will try to limit your success to keep their power over you. Now, there's two types of people with this. There are, there are some leaders out there and some people out there who are like, 
you know, oh, don't go follow his training. Don't go read that book. Don't go to that event because they want to keep their power over you, right? I'm not naming it. There's, there's very, 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 very small number of people who do that. It's not, it's not that bad, right? But in the pub scenario, there's like, hey, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that thing because they keep their power in the friendship and the relationship because there's an element of scarcity there. There's an element of what happens if my mate, I can see a load of truth in there, is it? What happens if my mate goes out there and becomes a big shot and then he doesn't come to the pub with me? What happens if my mate leaves me and he becomes this superstar jet setter world traveler and, and, and I don't get to spend time with him anymore? What happens if... So they will try and limit your success to keep their power. That happens. That happens. So you've got to focus on the relationship. So what I what I advise you to do this is I advise you to hang out in places that you would enjoy hanging out in um, and be an active part of the of the conversation and, and the community. So this could be offline events. This could be I mean it could be offline gatherings. It could be business uh, business networking events, or it could simply be Facebook groups. There might be two or three Facebook groups that you're a part of and you absolutely love being a part of them. If so, actively engage in the conversation. If you're on these lives every Tuesday, actively engage with the conversation. Build the relationships with people who are enjoying the conversation that you're having too, right? For example, if we're in, a, I, mean, I use the pub example a lot because you know there's a lot of them in the UK and I'm from the UK, right? So imagine we're in a pub and there's five of us having a conversation about football and two of us are really passionate, and the other three are like, oh God, when will they shut up about talking about football? Why can't they talk about fashion or travel or business or money or lifestyle or clothes, or whatever it might be? Who are, if it's you and another person talking about football, who will you most likely want to talk about after the conversation's ended? You're probably going to want to talk about the person about football. It's kind of common sense, right? So hang around in places that you want to hang around in, that you get excited about, right? But go and have the conversations, build relationships with people who have the common interest with you. And I started doing this, and it was very funny for me because I started reading uh, like a lot of, like, well, both of Richard Bliss Brooks' books. I read, um, and I've now read both of Jordan Adler's book. I read Eric Warre's book. I read a lot of people's books inside of Network Marketing. And I always just thought like, oh, it would be so awesome to be able to hang out with these guys. And I did because I just focused on just, you know, the visualization of it. And then when I got the chance, I made the most of it. So how did I make the most of it? I gave value back to them. I gave back value back to Richard by giving him, just basically telling him how, how awesome I thought his book was and saying, how can I get this book in more people's hands? So I told my community about it. A load of people bought it. His sales of his book go up. Happy Richard, happy me, happy relationship and friendship. I then met uh, Jordan Adler when I went over to Vegas in uh, May last year. And we got, we, we, we got together and we spoke. And he asked me some stuff about social media. I told him. I asked him stuff, some stuff about communication. He told me. What happened? We became friends, right? And we chat from time to time. Same with Eric Warren. He invited me over to his house. We built a great friendship and relationship. I said, hey, how can I help and support you? And we collaborated on something. Then I ended up speaking at GoPro. We became friends. And I've got a selfie on my phone, which I share at events now, which I don't think many people have got a selfie like that on their phone uh, because it's a little bit crazy. And he took it uh, and then sent it to me. So first thing is relationships and your inner circle. It's very, very important, but it will take time for you to build that inner circle. It just does. Your inner circle is your foundation. Let me kind of, uh, is the foundation. Relationships, and I don't even know if this is coming up on the screen, but relationships, there we go. Fundamental. Oh, and by the way, guys, hang on until the end of this live, uh, or if you're watching replay, feel free to skip ahead towards the end if you want, because I've got massive, massive announcement to make that a lot of you guys have been waiting for and asking about. So relationships are the first, the first building block. When you get the relationships right, when you get your inner circle right, whether it's upline, crossline, downline, people outside the industry, whatever, then great things can happen, okay? The second thing is the quality of events that you attend so every day I focus on building relationships, right? I focus on building relationships. Who's going to be the next person in my inner circle? Who's going to be the next person in my, in my inner circle? Who are the people I want to speak to every single day? Who are the people who, when they message me, I get excited by instead of going, oh, do I have to reply? Oh, not them again. It should be. I, guys, I don't, I don't really act, react like that, but I'm exaggerating it for effect, right? But if someone messages me, I'm like, right, oh, yes, he's messaged me. Woohoo! Thank God for that, right? 
And if you're just joining in now, you're watching the replay, uh, we're doing a truth and dare tonight. You can comment truth or dare throughout this live. Um, and eventually I'm going to just say stop. And the whichever truth or dare is towards the top, I will do that. I'll have to say truth about myself or I'll give you a dare, which will be an action step. Right. Okay. So events change your lives. Events change lives. So imagine this. You, you, a wedding, right? Does that change your life? Yeah. You have a kid. Does that change your life? Yeah. You have, I mean, you have a birthday party? Mm, yeah, kind of, right? You attend the network marketing event. Does that change your life? Absolutely. You might not realize it, but it does. And I remember, I remember a time when I went to, I went to Salt Lake City in Utah, July 2009. I don't remember. I think it was the 10th of July, 2009. It was in Utah. It was at the Salt Lake City Arena. There was 10,000 people there. And I was at the back of the room, not involved in network marketing, my dad was, my parents were, I was just going to an event with them because I, my dad said, hey, do you want to come to Salt Lake City? And I was like, yeah, cool, let's go to America. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to eat so much food and blah, 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 blah. And I remember being sat there at the back of the event and I was kind of like, oh, God, yeah, I've been to so many of these events. I've been to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these events. And they were doing a recognition bit. There was 10,000 people in the room. Everyone looked like they'd completely lost their minds. Uh, it looked like they were, you know, been drinking, you know, drinking some crazy alcohol. And they were all drunk because they were all dancing around as if they were drunk. But they weren't. And I'm in the back like, oh, God, yeah, I'm so introverted. Everyone's so extroverted. And I'll never, ever forget. Unfortunately, I don't know his name because I wish I did because I just... I'd love to thank him in some way without even even knowing what he did. But what happened was, is they were doing these bonuses and, you know, they were playing these videos and $50,000 bonus check, $100,000 bonus check, $200,000 bonus It got to a million dollar bonus check. And this guy walks on the stage and he said, please welcome to the stage, Bob Jones. Like, it wasn't Bob Jones, but please welcome to the stage, Bob Jones. And I was like, oh, oh wait, wait, go Bob, woo. Everyone's like, yeah, Bob. Like, T-shirt. T-shirts went off, but you can imagine it like going crazy. And I'm like, wow, this this guy's loved. And I was thinking, he he looks very similar to me. He was like 21, 22, more like 20, 21. And he comes up to the stage and grabs the microphone. And I'm thinking like, he does not look like he's very confident here. I was expecting him to be, you know, rock star, you know, proper youngster. Anyway, gets the microphone. And he says, like, he basically couldn't string a sentence together. And he pulls up this check and it had a million dollars written on it. He'd earned a million dollar bonus check, right? I don't know whether it was paid over 24 months or whatever it was, but it was 20. And I looked at him and just went, oh my, God. like, no way, There's no way has that happened. So I remember saying to my dad, like, is that true? He was like, yep. I'm like, but he's nothing special. Like if he can do it, surely I can. Now, I didn't leave that event, sign up to the company, right? It took me another year before I decided to join join the uh, the industry. But it was that event that totally changed my life. Now, you can go to events. Hey, you can go to alcoholic anonymous events if you want, or gamble anonymous, or you know, drug addict anonymous groups. That's an event. That can change your life. But the quality of the events, the better the quality of the events, the more chance you've got of changing your life. And it's so, so important. Tony Robbins, one of the pinnacle, one of the best quality events you can ever go to. Start with UPW, then go to Date with, Date with Destiny, right? Very, very intense, high quality, very expensive to go, but every single person hasn't, there's, I don't know one person who's got a bad thing to say about that event. And if they do, it's probably because they went for a cigarette break every five minutes during the event and missed the whole event, right? So, so here we go, right? Um, the second slot, uh, slab is events, right? So you've got to attend events. People will not progress in this industry if they think, I'm just going to build my business online, don't need to go to events because I'm going to spend all my time with my kids. Hey, I'll, I'd love for you to spend all your time with your kids. Take your kids to the events if you need to. But you have to get out the house and into events. Be around more people because, hey, guess what, guys? When you go to events, you'll meet the right people. When you meet the right people, great things happen because your inner circle grows and your chance of getting towards success life increases phenomenally, right? Instead of it going up and then, oh, everyone's bored and then it falls back down again, right? You'll notice the people who have a who go to an events, they attend events, they note takers, they have a great inner circle, and their life always seems to be progressing. It's like 
when is it ever going to stop? When are you going to keep? When are you going to stop progressing? You keep traveling, you keep attending these events, you keep doing these podcasts, interviews, talks. When is it ever going to stop? Surely you always say everything that goes up, right, must come down. That which goes up must come down. Yeah, it does, but it doesn't fall any anywhere near as hard when you've got the right people around you, right? Okay. And by the way, stop. Dare. All right. So it's a dare. So at the end, I'm going to give you the dare, right? And by the way, it was smear. Smear Ahmed, who uh, who won that. So the dare I'm going to give you after I've gone through these three. All right. So relationships is number one. Events is number two. And third one is mentors. Now, you've probably heard this before, right? Um, da, 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 da. But I've always said that in life, no one knows, no one knows everything about anything. Um, like, they just don't. No one knows, there's always something to learn, especially in network marketing, there's always something to learn, especially as it changes, right? Eric Worre admitted it himself, like he, he said like, you know, Eric Worre has looked as the godfather of network marketing, absolute legend, we mention him, in, mention him in pretty much every single live we do here on the Tuesdays. Does he know everything about social, uh, social media? No. Has he got a massive following? Yeah, like two, two million plus on all his platforms, but does he know social media? No. No one knows everything about anything. That's just not just network marketing, but that's just life. So I appreciated this. I need to get mentors in different areas of my life. So if I wanted to get a six pack, am I going to do it alone? No. If I wanted to, if I wanted to build a business, am I going to do it alone? No. Now, network marketing is the best, in my opinion, is the is the best business for you to join because you get access to mentors for free, right? So you get an upline who mentors you now. You can choose your mentor in network marketing if you want. That's absolutely cool. But I genuinely believe you should get external mentorship as well, right? Let's look at Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, arguably one of the greatest golfers. If well, if he's not the greatest golfer that's ever lived, he's the second greatest golfer who's ever lived. He might even be the greatest golfer that's ever lived simply because of his uh, his kind of comeback with his back in- injury and all that sort of stuff. That shouldn't have happened, but it did, Right? Who taught Tiger Woods golf? His dad. His dad basically said to him, listen, Tiger Woods, and I, this is a bit weird, but I see similarities with me and my dad because like, Tiger Woods was taught by his dad. He was mentored by his dad. He was told how to swing the club with his dad. He went to the driving range with his dad. He played golf with his dad. He did everything with his dad, right? But was his dad, when Tiger Woods got to a certain level, was Tiger Woods' his coach his dad? No. He got Butch Harmon, uh, one of the coaches, Every professional sportsman has mentors. The Formula One drivers, they have sports psychologists, they have nutritionalists, they have doctors, they have positivity coaches. Tennis players, Andy Murray, who, who's just retired, he had, I think, uh, Ivan, is it Ivan Lendl? He was his coach, right? I don't know about the Kardashians. They probably have a coach. It's probably like, it's probably someone completely flipping weird. Um, I have no idea about those guys. But it's important that you have mentors right so the last block oh it looks like one of those pyramid things is mentors right you can have one mentor two mentors three more mentors you can have one mentor for every, for different areas in your life however i advise you to have no more than two mentors no more than two mentors in any one particular thing otherwise you will get conflicting information because there's so many ways to succeed in life now there's so many ways for example let's say that this road right here is the m is the is the m6 right? And we've got to get down to London. There's so many different ways for us to get down to London. We can carry on the M6 and go on to the M40, whatever, or we can take the A roads, or we can take another A road, or we can take a branch off the other way. There's so many ways to get to the end and to get to the success of life, right? But one mentor might say, go that way. Another mentor might be like, go that way, right? Or there might be another mentor who says, nah, they both don't work. Go this way, okay? Right. By the way, guys, everyone's commenting true for dare. We've already established that it is dare. So you can uh, you can comment some more relative things if you want, right? Uh, all right, cool. So uh, company mentors. Yeah, so have an internal mentor. Have a mentor who's inside your company and then have a mentor who's outside your company. Now, I'm not saying this to be like, hey, hey, choose me. I'm not saying that. I'm just giving you examples. You could have book mentors, YouTube mentors, whatever. For example, uh, Patrick Bet David, he's one of my virtual mentors. 
Gary Vaynerchuk for a while was, not anymore really. Uh, Russell Brunson is another one of my vir virtual mentors. Eric Warre is, is an actual mentor. You know, there's a lot of other different people that I speak to. Uh, I wouldn't say they're mentors, but I ask them for guidance on different things. I'm inspired by what they do as well, right? Again, um, it's, it's, it's super important. So what I would do, if you've got a mentor, um, what I'd love for you to do, and, and this, I'm not telling you to go and tag 1,500 people, go and tag in the comments, go and tag your mentor, but instead of just going tag, tag and say, hey, thanks so much for being my mentor. Because you know what? Mentors get appreciation. Like, per, like a lot of mentors get private, um, private kind of recognition. Like, hey, thanks so much again for that call. Thanks so much for the information. They don't get that much public recognition. And mentorship is extremely difficult to do at times. Very fulfilling to do. Uh, and it, I believe everyone, I personally believe everyone should have a mentor and be a mentor. It doesn't have to be right now, but you have to have a mentor and eventually you have to pass that on to someone else. So you have a mentor and a protege. That for me is the equation of success. I've had mentors, I've got mentors in my life and now I've got many proteges out there who are implementing the lessons that I teach from these Tuesday lives, from the Ninja Networker and so on and so on and so on and so on. So feel free, yeah, Emma Privilege is my mindset mentor. My mindset mentor. Love it. Tamara says, you are my mentor. Oh, that, it's too cool. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that to be honest. Um, Brendan Bouchard. That's, he's a good one, right? He knows what he's doing. Eric and you, awesome. Les Brown, Les Brown. I actually need to call. Bizarre situation. I've got Les Brown's phone number because I've got to call him and I've been putting off for weeks because I've been petrified of calling him. So I need to listen to the, I need to like read Mel Robbins' book or something, you know, uh, the five second rule or something, I just call him um, because I've been meaning to call him all this time. So that's super cool. If you've got value so far, please feel free to press share uh, and give the reason why you're sharing it, whether it's into groups, profiles, pages, uh, the messenger, group messenger chats are really good for your algorithm, by the way. And episode 99, episode 99, I'm going to be talking about the Facebook algorithm. Everyone's been messaging me saying, Fraser, when are you going to be doing that? When are you going to be doing the algorithm? Like, when are you going to be doing the algorithm? When are you going to be doing the algorithm? It's a new year. It's a new algorithm. I'm like, yep, it's coming. Uh, it's coming. P too, too many people have been rushing to do the algorithm video when there's still some stuff being done in the algorithm. So I'm going to be waiting until for two weeks from now will be episode 99, the week before episode 100. Don't forget to make note of that. We're going to go big. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be talking about that. So I'm excited about that. Uh, Bob Proctor, amazing. Yeah, Ray Higdon's a great one. Torsten, legend. I love all these. Piotr, yeah, good lad, good lad. Caroline Strawson, she's awesome. Leanne is amazing. Tom Chenault, absolute god. Uh, yeah, I love him. He's awesome. All right, cool. There's so so many cool people there. There's so many cool. And guys, there's you'll notice the more people who engage in this, there's so many mentors out there. A lot of them will be uplines. But also a lot of those names are generic people who you've got, who've got YouTube channels. Les Brown, Eric Warre, Bob Proctor. Those are three. Tony Robbins. There's, there's four. Like that, that didn't even take any effort to even think of that. All right. So you've heard of this before. The best investment to make is in yourself, right? And it really is, in my opinion, if you're a network marketer, this is the kind of this is the path, right? So when you're starting out, people are like, hey, you, you, you've, got to, you've got to invest. Like, you can't earn your way to financial freedom. You can't earn your way to wealth. And that's right. Even if you make a million dollars a year, half of that goes to tax. And the other half is like, well, you're making a million dollars now. So surely you're going to buy a Ferrari. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to go buy a Ferrari. That's 200 grand, right? And then things just get a little bit crazy because the more you earn, the more you spend, right? So you invest. First of all, you invest in yourself. Right, I'm going to explain some things you do with that um, in a sec. Then eventually, and hey, this is not financial advice. This is just like what, I, what I'd advise to do. You invest in yourself. Then you invest in your team, right? A lot of people go, well, you invest in yourself first. Then you buy stocks and shares. No, you invest in yourself and then you invest in your team. Because if you do that, don't forget your, your team will follow your feet and not your mouth. If you tell your team, go and invest in yourself. And you're not doing it yourself, like, go, go to that generic event. Are you going, no, but you should. Are they going to go? No. Go and invest in your team. Well, you've not given me a single penny so far. You've not given me one gift. Yeah, but don't worry about what I'm doing. Worry about what yourself's doing. Don't know why I'm talking like that, but I am, right? So invest in yourself. Invest in your team. What they will do, they will then start to invest in themselves. They will then start to invest in their team, right? And it, the cycle starts. Then... Don't be a spender, be a saver and investor. 
Don't just go, right, for example, I see a lot of this, and I know you've got to celebrate, but when I get that bonus check, when I get that $1,000 bonus check, I'm going to go buy myself a handbag. Please don't do that. Please don't do it. Get excited about the things that aren't exciting when it comes to investing. I know this sounds weird. When it comes to spending, and I know this has turned into a bit of a weird live now, but uh, when it comes to spending, buy things that are not exciting. So a, La a Lamborghini, exciting, right? A new house, exciting. Stocks and shares, not that exciting. Bonds, definitely not exciting. But what they're going to do is they're going to give you excitement in your lifetime, in the life to come. Yes, I know it. Yeah, but you've got to enjoy your life. You can enjoy your life, right? Get off your backside and put into work what you've invested yourself in and help your team be able to do the same thing. So here we could go, we could get some stocks and then eventually, because stocks you can buy for $100, you can buy for $1,000, you can buy for $10,000, you can't buy a house for $500. There probably you can somewhere around the world. And then stocks and shares, you can buy property, Right, and then eventually you could buy businesses, and all of this is going back into yourself. The number one important investment for you to make is always, always, always in yourself. You invest the money in yourself to be able to build new relationships. So you invest the money in mentors. Mentors will recommend you events to go to, and at events, guess what? You're going to build relationships, but it's going to take time. Imagine this, right? Picture this scenario. You get a mentor, right? And your and your and your mentor is a financial men mentor, right? And this mentor has got experience in in building wealth and all that sort of stuff. And if, by the way, guys, if, if you, any of you guys get turned off by the word wealth or money, like I don't like talking about it too much. I don't talk about it very often. Um, but like, it's important. I think it's an important part of the process when it comes to these three tips that I'm talking about building your kind of your six your success pyramid in a way, right? I love that we've managed to get a pyramid on there. I, I, I just love them paying homage to the pyramids, right? Um, so, completely lost my child. Yeah, okay. So you get a mentor, financial mentor, and the financial mentor sell, sells you saying, "Hey, there's this event going on. It's quite a quiet one, um, but it's going to be in the middle of London. There's going to be like 20 people there." And you go to the you go to the event, and one of the guys there comes on and says, "I have worked for Barclays Bank for years and years and years and years." And years. And there's a stock that's going to hit the market or it's going to, it's going to skyrocket in a month. And you go to your mentor and you say, hey, you, what do you think about this stock? And they say, yeah, yeah, it sounds, really, it sounds really good. It's promising. I've invested. You probably should too. So guess what? You go and put, oh, go on then. I'll put some money in. You go and put $100 in, whatever. And it skyrockets. It doubles, it triples, it quadruples in 10 years. And that 100 that you invested ends up being 1,000. That 1,000 you invested ends up being 10,000. That 100,000 you invested ends up being a million, right? Was it worth you going to the event? Yes. But you would not have known that about that event unless you had that mentor. So when people come to me and say, like, oh, I really want to invest in a mentor, but I just can't afford it. Start now on how you can figure out how to afford it, right? And hey, I'm not, I'm, I've not once in this whole thing said, come to me and use me as a mentor. Not once said that. And I really don't care if you go to someone else. I mean, I don't, right now, I don't do like group coaching, personal mentoring. I am going to be starting it in March or April. I kind of just contradict myself. <laughs> I'm like, go somewhere else, right? But I'll be buzzing for you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited when people say, I've got a mentor. I'm like, yes. Have they got track record and have they succeeded? Yes, they have. Perfect. Awesome, right? I love that. And they'll get really gutted. And kind of devastated when someone says, I don't have a mentor. Because I know that if it wasn't for the mentors that I had in my life, I would not have attended the pivotal events and I wouldn't have built the relationships. So I wouldn't have I wouldn't have a healthy wagon. I'd have the wagon would be like, hey, do you want to go out for a beer tonight? And the next night, and the next night, and the next night. And I would have been stuck, I'd share it at events, but I would have been stuck in the trap of party and party and party and party and partying. What I'm drawing out here, honestly, completely transformed my life to be more positive, more excited, and as a knock-on effect, more attractive. Not visually, but the person who I became is, is quite an attractive person to be. It sounds weird saying that, but I think you understand what I mean. It's fun to be around, right? And guess what? The people who are on my wagon in my inner circle, they're also like me. It's not, hey, how are you doing today? Uh, bit down today. It's not, it's never like that. You come off the call and you're like, 
buzzing. They might be like, oh yeah, I'm dealing with this challenge, but like, I'll get over it. Well, what is the challenge? Oh, it's this, it's this. Hey, I'll do this, this, and this. I've been through that challenge before. Awesome, you're great. Go rock it, man. I'll keep you posted. It's not like, oh, well, yeah, because this, I'm going all over the place. One thing I know, guys, is that negative people and moaning people, people who blame other people, they will only, they'll keep telling their problems until someone goes, yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? So like, imagine this, oh, the weather's really bad. Ah, who cares, tomorrow will be a better day. Yeah, but it's not really. Hey, but you can't do anything about it, so get on with life. Yeah, I suppose you're right. The next person I go to, hey, the weather's really bad, isn't it? Yeah, it is really bad, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm so glad you agree that the weather's really bad. And they're like, shall we be friends? Yeah. And they're always like this, slouched down. It's like, oh, when's it going to end? You know, it's just a nightmare. All right. So with that being said, okay, whether you've got, whether you've got um, a mentor or not, right? I, I highly, 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 highly recommend that you look into it. Book mentors, video mentors, personal mentors, group mentors, whatever, right? In a way, these Tuesday night lives, and let me know, guys, if you watch these lives regularly and you get value, then please feel free to let me know because this is in a, this is this is mentorship in a way because you're every time you watch one of these videos and you take notes on these videos and you teach these these, these, these notes and these kind of trainings to yourself and to other people, you you kind of you are getting mentorship in a way because you're leveling up, right? But if you don't, there's an event that you have to attend if you want to level up, especially if you're in Europe. And that's success, number, that's success Summit number three. Now, tell you a little bit about success number three and then I'll go into the dare. Super proud about this because it's now become Europe's number one generic network marketing trainer. Uh, and I'm smiling thinking about it because I'm just absolutely, I'm absolutely buzzing uh, about it because it was, it, was, it was just great. And if you went to success number two, let me know in the comments if you went to success number two, number two because on Thursday at about midday UK time, so Thursday midday UK time, check out my profile because I'm going to post the success summit two recap video. It's about five minutes long, but it's flipping fire. It's so, so good. And there's actually loads of nuggets. The guys did such a great job uh, taking what I said for them to do and just basically taking, so it's not just like, well, this event looks great. Like it's great seeing everyone clapping. It's no, it's like, We've like extracted different nuggets. So literally, you can watch the video, recap video, and make notes, right? Now, here's the thing. You can go and watch the Guns and Roses. You can go and watch the Gun and Roses, um, you know, on YouTube. Or you can go and watch Bohemian Rhapsody. Has anyone seen Bohemian Rhapsody, by the way? Like, absolutely class film. I only watched it a few weeks ago, but it was amazing. You can go watch that. And there's a scene in Bohemian Rhapsody. And you know what? I was actually like, thinking, I, th I think this is a bit rubbish. I think this movie is a little bit, I think this movie is a little bit rubbish. And some of you might relate to this, I'm just being completely honest. And then the, then the Wembley scene came on, the Live Aid, um, the Live Aid uh, scene came on where they were singing all their songs. Like it was as if I felt like I was there, but imagine if you were in that stadium, in that crowd, you, chances are you would never, ever, ever forget that. And if you were reminded of it, you heard the music, you saw the movie, you, you would take you back to that moment and you thought, that was flipping unforgettable day. That was unforgettable. And those are the moments you need in your life, especially your business life, in order for you to progress. Because what will happen is this. I look back to that day when I was in that, in that event in Salt Lake City. I'm coming to the end here, guys. Um, I was in that event in Salt Lake City it was that pivotal for me that I look back at it today. I've just shared the story. I look back at it today and I still remember the person who I was and how it made me feel. And now I look at myself today and the other people who have been on that journey with me and I think, how far have we come? That's progression. And people say to me, Fraser, how are you always excited? How are you always consistent? You're just always giving value, always helping, always impacting. Because I know that if I move from where I was at that event to now and I do that again, like, who's that person going to be? And how cool is that person going to be to spend around uh, time around? And how many people can that person impact? Whew, gets me fired up. So, Success Summit 3, right? So what we did at Success Summit 2, we had, we'd sold 650 tickets, 570 odd people um, turned up uh, because a lot, of them were, a lot of them were like free tickets that we've done in contests. And to be honest with you guys, if you get a free ticket, a lot of people will not come to the event. It's just, it's just the way it is, right? So... 
here's what happened. At the event, we, we kind of did a big push. We said, right, guys, here's the vision. We've got a room that can fill 1,500 people, right? Which, oh, 1,500, and we need to get an extra person in there because the record for a generic network marketing event in Europe is 1,500 people. It was Eric Warrior, October 2015. So November the 16th and 17th, November 16th and 17th, 2019, we're going to get 1,501 people in the room and it's going to be the biggest ever generic network marketing event that's ever been seen in Europe, right? So I said this at the event. Now, bear in mind, we've got 550 people, 550 people in the room. So my goal was if we could, if we could get 550, if everyone in the room, if I could get 100% of the room to buy a ticket, it would have been a success. Right, And it would have meant that, Fraser, you've done your job. We trust you. We believe in you. We're with you on your mission. Let's go change the world. Let's go change the industry and the, the image of the industry in network marketing. And that was me. And, and I looked around the room and I was looking at the multiple six-figure income earners, the seven-figure income earners, the eight-figure income earners. And I was thinking, if they can get on board with this and they appreciate this and they get value from this, then that's all I need. So worst case scenario, those guys get on board. Best case scenario, 550-odd tickets sold. So, launched it Sunday, I think it was Sunday afternoon, I think. Sunday afternoon, closed it Tuesday night. 900 tickets were sold. We'd sold almost double the number of people in the room to the next event. And then I went, whoa, 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 close, 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 close. It's not fair on all the people who weren't here because a lot of people who couldn't be there through health challenges or kids and all that. So we closed it. And I said, in the new year, we'll open it up. Now, slight problem. The price should have gone up on that day, right? After we closed, it should have gone up for the, for the weekend. However, the team decided to drop, a, to drop a clanger and they didn't increase the price. So if you want to go to the event, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the link on if you want to, successsummit.info. If you go to successsummit.info, you can buy one ticket. Nope, I didn't, didn't like that, did it? Um, success... Summit, uh, let's go, boom. Oh, it's not liking this at all. Success, summit, dot info, add. Nope, didn't like that again. Right, so if you go to success, summit, dot info, don't be an action faker, be an action taker. Right? Don't be someone who's like, I'm just going to learn, learn, learn. And for you know, Fraser is my mentor. He, he recommends this event. And then you're like, nah, I'm not going to go to that. Oh, there it is. Successsummit.info. Now, obviously, you can do whatever you want. Right? I'm just, I'm just giving you an example of what a lot of people do do. So, successsummit.info. Success we can't, I can't change the venue. Why? Because it's a huge venue and it literally costs me, well, I've still got my fingers. Some other parts of my body to give a deposit. Uh, so, yeah, you can imagine how, how, how that was. Um, but it's going to be absolute dynamite. Some of the speakers have already confirmed. I've not announced their names and that, but they are awesome. Seven-figure income earners. Uh, we're going to have a ton of fun. Again, for those of you who've already been to Success Summit, uh, Success Summit 3, uh, Success Summit 2, Success Summit 3 is going to be bigger and better. And I know a lot of you have messaged me to say, how are you, you going to replicate that? Because that was just insanity. And went, hey, there's a lot more to come, a lot more content, a lot more stuff, a lot more stories, a lot more vulnerability, a lot more emotion to come. Um, so if you want to come, come. We do one ticket, two tickets, five tickets, and ten tickets. This is what, if you, if you, again, if you want my opinion about events, don't ever go to an event on your own. Now, here is the big mistake. That I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you this tip, and then we're going to go into the dare, and then we're going to close out. Here's the big mistake, and by the way, if you've got value so far, please feel free to share it. I always do appreciate that, uh, especially this date, episode 100, Tuesday, the 5th of February. Uh, super important that we, we get, oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that either. Um, oh, days, what's going on here? Oh, oh no, on well, my screen, it's just a mess. Oh, anyway, who cares? This is what a lot of people do. They go, right. I can buy, and this is this applies for Success Summit 3, and it applies for any other events you attend, whether it's a company event or, or whatever. If Success Summit 3 conflicts with your company event or a team event, 
please, please, please go to the company or team event rather than mine. If you can only afford one, I can go to my company event in October, but then Success Summit 3 is in November. Please, please, please choose your company event. Right? I'm not in this business to conflict with anything. I'm in this business to collaborate and impact and grow. That's my job. That's my role. That's my mission. So most people, they go, I'm going to buy one ticket and then I'm going to see if I can sell some more. Nah, you won't. You won't. From my experience, from different statistics with research and stuff, if you buy one ticket, you are less likely to promote the event. Because you're like, well, I've got my ticket there. I'll go. I'll see how it is. And then maybe I'll promote the next one. Right? Or I'll go and then I'll try and promote the event. However, if you buy two tickets, you have to get rid of the second one because you've paid for it. Right? Hey, I've bought the ticket. And hey, guess what, guys? You buy the tickets now, they're reduced. Literally by tomorrow night, the price will be more expensive because I'll go in there and fix it. The team, you know, messed up with that, but I'll, I'll go in there and fix it. Right? So you buy them now, when you then promote it, it's a, hundred, it's, a, it's a different price, it's a new price, it's increased, and you're like, hey, I've got it for a little bit less here, right? Now again, only do it if you can afford to do it. If you can't afford to do it, don't stretch yourself. But if you get out your comfort zone and you do stretch yourself, you will do more, right? It's, it's just, it's so important that you do that. It, it really, my face is covering it. It really, really is. Too, I see too many people say, hey, hey oh, I'm really excited about the event. How many tickets did you get? One. But why? Are you not going to bring anyone? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try and promote it to my team and see if anyone wants to buy. If you can afford it, get the other one to come with you. I'm telling you this for your benefit. I really am. And you'll see on Thursday at 12 o'clock. I can't wait to share it with you. 12 o'clock, midday, UK time, Thursday. You'll see exactly why I want you guys to be there. To not just support the event, but for you to get one of those life-changing moments meet those life like a lot of the people met people the relationships and they become friends they're in completely different companies but they're helping each other because like you're like me i'm on the same mission as you i'm at the same level as you let's grow together let's help each other out let's use each other as accountability partners all right the dare the dare let's put it here the dare is I dare you, I dare this is kind of brutal, but I dare you to go into your on this day feature on your phone, on this day or Facebook memories or whatever, whichever it's called these days, I dare you to go in there and find a post which is super embarrassing, take a photo of it and share it. Right, so what I mean by that is, a lot of people on this day, they just kind of comment on it or share it. Don't share it, in fact, screenshot it, then edit the photo, crop it, and then post it saying, oh my days, I can't believe I said this. I saw one the other day of mine, and it was from like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh my God, it was bad. Uh, it, it, it was bad, and I, so I dare you, so if you're, if you're up for the dare, uh, let me know. Um, let me know that uh, that you're gonna you're gonna be doing it because I'll I'll be looking out for them. If you say you're gonna be doing it, I'll go try and uh, try and see that. So um, on this day, go to on this day or the memories feature and find one. Maybe maybe it's been today or tomorrow or the next day. Find something that you posted years ago. Screenshot it, whatever, and get like just basically write a story about it. Use it. So like, I can't believe the person who I was five years ago. I can't believe the person who I was three years ago. I would never post anything like that right now. Like, now. like blah, blah, blah. It's crazy what time does to you. Okay? Now, every week, I will probably do something like this, a kind of truth or dare situation. We'll see how it goes. And then when I get guests on, we'll get them to do a, a truth or dare as well. It's just, again, to get yourself out of the comfort zone. So the word dare is now an action step. If you see that anywhere then it means I'm going to go do it, right? Not, oh, no, I'm not going to go do that. I don't accept your dare. No, I double dare you, I triple dare you. I double dare you, I triple dare you, right? Go and do it. All right, guys, appreciate each and every single one of you. Next week, I'm going to be coming back and I'm going to be talking to you about the, the, my five laws of success. So the five laws of success, if you follow each and every single one of them, you'll grow. You'll notice that the level of these trainers are kind of heightened in a way they're kind of more advanced with the mindset stuff as well i decided that this year i'm going to do more mindset stuff leadership stuff core skill stuff as well as social media so episode 98 uh, 98 is next week 
that's going to be the five laws. Uh, episode 99 is going to be the algorithm. I know a lot of you guys, you keep loving the algorithm. So, an episode 100, you're going to see. But episode 100 is this. And yes, I'm still in love with the whiteboard. Uh, I, I've had many nights with the whiteboard. Uh, just me and them, we got a takeaway and just kind of, you know, just chilled, took it, took it to the cinema, uh, her to the cinema. Um, and yeah, you know, we bought uh, flowers and yeah, I'm looking forward to Valentine's Day. We've got a candlelit dinner. Uh, ready. No, not really. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, easy there. Some people find it, Ellie, you'll find it easy because you're just like 100% yourself. Not, not everyone is, though. Um, so, yeah. Also, last minute thing, if you're in Australia, myself and Rob Sperry are coming over to Australia 9th and 10th of March. So, sorry, 9th and 10th of March, generic training. I'm going to email everyone out about that because a ton of people have been asking about it. And we've got 250 tickets left for that event. So crazy. Uh, all right, let me do some name shouting out. Uh, so we've got Sylvia, Annette, Elise McDonald, Ellie Norcliffe. Hope you're doing good. Pamela Ann Lambert. I saw that you, pa Pamela, I saw that you did a lot of dares on there. Um, so Adrian Salazar. What a name. Salazar, Adrian Salazar, gracias, saludas desde Mexico. Yep, go Mexico. Awesome, I love that name. Um, Ma oh, Mari, this is the problem when there's like a worldwide audience on, on, on these lives because a lot of these names I just can't say, but I've started, so I'm going to carry on going. Um, Marion Vlasveld, awesome. Oh, come on, give me a break. Hajnalka Haj Horvath. So, hope you're doing good. Hajnalka, I hope you're saying that. Oh, you've bought two tickets for the Success Summit 3. Woo! Where are you from, Hajnalka? Uh, because we've got we've got 18 countries represented so far, uh, which is really, really cool. Ah, uh, we've got... Ah, uh, this is a Russian one. So, I'm going to test my Russian now. Uh, Marina... Marina Ko Korechkaya Ab Abram Bitsvili. Whew, that didn't nail that, Sven. Does that sound about right? No, Sven said that's wrong. I think I've just completely butchered the name. Apologies. Uh, is, oh, no, what's, what's sorry again? In, is Vinity. Is Vinity. Is Vinity. Is Vinity. Um, uh, <laughs> which makes no sense. Uh, Mala, I love doing this. Mala Mahibe. Excellent training. Glad you liked it. Ryan Mountford. Fraser Dare. <laughs> yeah, that's right, mate. Rachel Coltart, awesome, 98 and counting, yeah, we're getting close now, Rachel, uh, so, do people call you Rach, because uh, I felt like I should have said Rach, um, Jeremy Angel Edwards, whoop, whoop. I know you're going to be on the 100th live, Jeremy, I know you're going to be hammering that love heart, maybe too much love heart pounding, um, which sounds weird, Sylvia Poland loves you, oh, that's cool, right, uh, Mar Marjo Nairunhin, Nairunhin, oh, hope I'm saying that right, Kaylee Smith, woo, hey Kaylee, Kay Hollander, hope you're doing good, Kaylee. Chuck Hunt, awesome. Demetra, oh, what a name. Demetra Bacavello, oh, that's a beast, I love that. Annette Massey, uh, let's have a look. Lu oh, Lucas, your name gets me every time. Lucas Wojciechowski, good one. Sharon Galway, hope you're doing good. Joanne Franey, oh, yes, where? Come on, I can't say that name again. Isabella, awesome, so many cool names, I'm just going to do two more, let's go right down to the bottom, Becky Gray, hey, 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 hope you're doing good, I'm so bad at names, Becky, honestly, Angela Proctor-Wilson, awesome, Angela, thank you so much, I could say, like an, an easier name to say, uh, that was awesome, so people aren't jumping off so much, people like the name call and stuff, right, uh, Nesima Kabechi, I, I never know how to say your, your second name, Nesima, um, Kabechi, I think I'm saying, uh, let's go, Kim Croft, hey, 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 all oh, right, yeah, I need to get this ticket too, or should I say two? Yes, Ellie, two tickets, you can definitely get two. Um, Samir Ahmed, hope you're doing great. Annette Massey, Lescher Marshall Witter, ooh, nice double barrel. Leanne Dixon, hey, 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 Catherine Kelly, amazing, right, cool. I think I've covered quite a ton of those. Daxa, ah, oh, Daxa Wilkinson, hope you're doing good, Daxa. Uh, uh, Elizabeth Sertens, wow, so many great names. Adele Smith. Kelly Standard, hey Kelly, Cucumber, Cucumber, um, she'll get it, uh, she'll get the Cucumber, <laughs> Kelly will understand the Cucumber joke, 
Um, and yes, it is. It, it's basically how it sounds. Um, oh, Bulgarian name. Oh, this is going to take some warm up on this one. Svetlina Tsononeva. Cheers. Good one, that one. I like that one. Thanks for tripping me up. Uh, Angelina De Los Santos, Emma Garvey, Na Nadi Natasha, Steve Otterwell, how you doing, buddy? Mandy Cha Cha Bailey, Heidi Vowell. I should really go off. The one top tip about Facebook Lives, guys. This is fantastic. Linda Co Conage. Uh, one, one top tip about Facebook Lives is if you want to get massive organic reach, right, it, it is a weird tip is you want to get as much of the video, you, you want to aim for 100% of the video watched, right? The closer it is, the more people watch as a percentage of a video, the more organic reach we'll get. So if you do a 60 second video and everyone watches the 60 seconds, even if it's 20 people of your friends, then, and by the way, you can't game the system, they know if you're gaming it, right? Then a lot of the times it will go on to be, do very, very well. That's why viral videos go so big because everyone's just watching the whole thing. Even if it's 15 minutes, you like find yourself just watching the whole thing. Now I just kind of butchered the end of that because I just spent five minutes calling out your you guys' names. But I think that you guys deserve your names getting shouted out. If I'm not doing it because you're like, oh please shout my name out. But I think it's pretty cool because I always like my name getting shouted out. So Ruby Frost, Nicholas Stevenson, Liz Pitta, Kathy Murphy, Janine Blackburn. This is brilliant. There's a ton of English names in there. Thanks so much, girls. Uh, Coral Brown. Where's the where are the fellas at though? Is it just? I've just noticed this. Is it only women on these lives? Janine Blackman, Debbie Stone, solid. Ry Mountford, there he is. There he is, Ry. Kelly Standard, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Uh, just laughing to myself. Uh, Nikki Mortar, how you doing? Bingo. I forgot to say the bingo moments. Right, anyway, here we go, guys. Um, I'm going. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your evening. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got value. If you did get value, please feel free to share it. Uh, if you've got a bingo moment and kind of went, oh yeah, I get it, let me know in the comments as well. Appreciate each and every single one of you. See those of you in November who are coming to Success Summit. There's so, such a long time to go, but if, when the tickets go, that's it. Sold out. Kapush. Done. See you episode 98 and see the rest of you guys on my profile. See you soon. Bye-bye. And I can't end the live. Brilliant. Happens again. But I'm still on, so you just heard me do that. Ah, oh, bugger. Right. Um, yeah, so I can't stop the live. So it looks like... But, oh, yeah, we can. Is it going to let me do it or not? Come on. Come on. Come on. Surely.